Healthcare faces a lot of challenges at the moment. You know, you've got the aging population, you've got increasing costs of new technologies and so on, and a world which is in recession. And so how can we deal with all that? How can we get the best out of it? And I think improvement science is a sort of an umbrella term for a, a group of approaches which are there to try and systematically address those questions and find the best ways forward. Sometimes evidence-based medicine can give us a, um, a, a fact, a method, a technique which can be applied generally and which can be used and, and create some of these benefits. At other times, people have to find more local solutions and, and then we need to find ways when people have got a local solution of seeing what's generalizable about that and can help others. So it's really a way of encouraging a change process uh, to uh, demonstrating that things are better through it and then a diffusion of that uh, to other people who can uh, make benefit of it. I think to achieve the aims of improvement science, the first thing you've got to do is really is get on the bike. You know, you don't learn to ride a bike by reading a manual and thinking about it. You have to experience it. So it's to start doing something, however small it may be. The second thing is to, you need to measure. You don't know whether things are improving or not until you've measured. So you've got to find a measurement which you can do in a realistic way of doing it. And then create some change. And then measure again. Is it better, worse, was your measurement insensitive to things, you think it was better but it doesn't seem to have been. But get into that cycle and start doing it and trying it on small things first and get that experience under your skin and then bigger projects become a lot easier after that. What improvement science should be able to achieve is simply a better world for patients. They should be treated better as a person, they should be treated better biomedically and for those of us who are all taxpayers and contributing to health care systems it's also a more cost-effective way of, uh, of making the world a better place for patients. There are seven challenges to the development and implementation of, uh, of improvement science. I think in particular it's getting people to believe in it and to start using the techniques which are there. Once you believe in it, you've got to invest the time and resource to make it work because you can't do it partially. You've got to invest in it. And it's worth it because it takes time to make time, as people say, and I think the benefits come through at the end of the, of the whole process. But any partial or half-hearted engagement with it is really likely to make it fail.